always wanted to be, I mean, a queen. Royalty. I wanted to send her out like royalty. Now designers Patrick Simpson and Paula Tu are sharing some secrets from the funeral. They made these special pink and black ribbons for guests to commemorate Anna Nicole. You can see Howard K. Stern pinned one on his dark suit. If you notice, Virgie didn't put one on. And she was offered. Patrick and Paul also say the flowers Virgie carried showed how estranged she was from her daughter. She brought pink carnations and Anna hated carnations. It was now time to lower the rose-covered casket into the ground. While cemetery workers began to fill the grave, most mourners left the tent. As the service drew to a close, Howard began the ceremonial custom of shoveling earth back into the gravesite, followed by Anna's attorney, Ron Rail, and then Mo joined in the tradition. When it appeared nobody else wanted to participate, Mo continued the task. But someone else did want to join in, and it was Virgie. And once she began, she was determined. She did not want the funeral here, but was obviously not ready to leave. We don't know what was behind her effort. Perhaps she wanted to remind people this was her daughter being buried. But Virgie continued for nearly two minutes in the stifling heat, moving over 50 shovelfuls of earth onto Anna's grave. And when she finished, in what may have been her final statement, Virgie placed a rose in the sod, then kissed the ground twice. She exited, walking over her daughter's grave and right past Howard, who was left alone, kneeling over Anna for his last goodbye. The Villa Florentine Mansion, a gated Ocean Club estate, was used for the small invitation-only gathering. Howard greeted guests, and Larry could also be seen making the rounds. Photos of Anna were scattered throughout the home as Marilyn, kissing her son Daniel and posing by her stripper pole. Each picture was blown up, allowing friends to write their final farewells.